Syracuse has uh, won the toss and is elected to receive. LSU is set to kick the ball off in the Hall of Fame Bowl from Tampa. The LSU kicker is Brown Dyke, David Brown Dyke, a junior out of Dallas, and you see the deep men for Syracuse with Walker deepest of all. Kick hits the turf and bounces to the five-yard line and returned out to the 20-yard line. Todd Philcox is the quarterback, I formation in the backfield. Philcox on the option play, pitches it back to Drummond, and Drummond has the Syracuse first down, still on his feet to the 35-yard line, 15-yard gain, led by Todd Philcox, who stepped in to replace the graduated Don McPherson, passed for over 2,000 yards. More the top receiver, Drummond and Johnston, very good running backs. She's looking at the offensive line. Center John Flannery, 6'3", 280, heads a young group on the offensive front. Syracuse now with a first down at their own 35-yard line. And the gift straight ahead. It's to Johnston, the fullback. It's tough against the run. They'll need a pass rush today. I'll tell you what, uh, this is one of the best defenses that they've played against, especially with Ron Chat Santo and uh, Eric Hill on the outside. So Sancho right now, and, Syracuse is doing very well. Yeah, Sancho and Hill, both all SEC. You see the defensive backs. Jackson is an All-American. Second and eight here for Syracuse. Bill Cox again on that option play. Pitches it again to Drummond. He's close to another Syracuse first down. Therefore, they have a first down. In the I formation. Phil Cox optioning the other way. Now will pass. First pass of the game. He's going long downfield for Glover, and it's incomplete. He's had beautiful back-to-back -back seasons with Syracuse. Phil Cox dropped back pass. It's complete to Moore. Rob Moore has it short of the first down into LSU territory to third and three here for Syracuse. There's a look at Moore, who set wide to the right. Bill Cox fakes, then fires. It's complete. It'll be another Syracuse first down. Is that 60.2% best in Syracuse history? First down play. Hand off up the middle. Still going inside the 35 is Johnston. A typical hard-nosed fullback got seven on that one. It's second and three. Drummond inside the 30 should be enough for another orange first down later on in the game I think they'll miss his big play capabilities fourth first down of this drive this is the ninth play it's a pitch on the outside to Drummond who has stopped just shy of the 20-yard line second and one for Syracuse just shy of the 20 of LSU Bill Cox and straight ahead to Johnston who powers for another Syracuse first down their fifth Maybe to the two-yard line. Fourteenth play of this impressive drive coming up. Second and goal from the three. Drummond. Touchdown. Syracuse has hit 260 in a row, an NCAA record. Have a nothing lead on their first possession of the game. Orangeman now to kick off. Kevin J. Green kicking. And taken by Fuller of LSU. Across the 20 to the 22-yard line. Hudson, the junior, out of Matthews, Louisiana. High formation in the backfield. Fuller and Jones. Hudson to put it up. Swing pass complete to Fuller. Fuller dodges a tackler and spins forward just shy of the 30-yard line. Take a look now at the LSU offense. Hudson, a junior's pass for over 6,000 yards, though some feel he's had an off year with 12 interceptions. Moss, the top receiver, nearly 1,000 receiving yards. Fuller, the top rusher. The offensive line, big, didn't allow a sack in seven straight games this year, anchored by Ralph Norwood at 6'7", 270. Pitch it to Fuller. 
Eddie Fuller fighting for yardage, crosses the 30, and then is stacked up with Busey again. They're young up front, Joe. Yes, they play the run pretty well, Tom, but I tell you, they don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. At least they have it this season. These three boys right here are going to have to get back on Hudson to have a successful day defensively. Linebackers are good. Bavaro, the top tackler. And the starting secondary has allowed only two touchdown passes all season, led by All-American Marcus Paul. Third and five for LSU. Hodson's pass is complete. That'll be an LSU first down. Fuller out of the backfield. It Look at the Syracuse linebackers on a first down LSU play. Fuller hit behind the line, falls forward to the 40. Football. All right, Tom. Thanks, Armin. There are 12 Ooh. children in the McPherson family. Coach Dick, the 11th. Here's Victor Jones getting the carry, and with second effort, fights his way into Syracuse territory, but he's going to be ruled down. First down, LSU at midfield. Fuller cuts up. Nice cut. Just tripped up as he got to the Syracuse 45-yard line. Tom, these guys want to keep moving the ball up and down the field. We thought both defenses might predominate. Instead, it's been an offensive game. There's an incomplete pass. And a flag down. The shoot coach. Interference on the defense. Automatic first down. Be a spot foul. Check it on the left side. See if we can pick up that interference. It's a mighty difficult call. Even uh, in the NFL, like seven yards on the penalty and an LSU first down. You see the numbers on Tommy Hudson. 39-yard line of Syracuse. On the counter play, Eddie Fuller cuts it up again. Gets about three yards. Syracuse leading 7-0, but LSU driving second and six. Plenty of time. No pressure on Hudson. And then the intended receiver slips. Tony Moss... straight back across the middle Moss it's intercepted picked off by Marcus Paul the all-american safety of Syracuse and he returns it to the 30-yard line and penalty flags are down I think Syracuse moved prematurely on their first down play and will step off five against the orange dead ball false start on the offense the 25 Johnston powers straight ahead, gets three or four yards. Johnston the up back, Drummond is the tailback as Glover goes in motion. Billcox with a pass, it's incomplete. He overshot the... Facing a third and 11 here. Drop back pass. Complete, but short of the first down. Receivers, Young is deepest for LSU the side of the foot by Gardner and then picked up on the hop by Jackson I formation LSU good field position on the first down play pitch it back to Calvin Wyndham who's in a tailback and Wyndham totes it to the 48 yard line back to you all right Armin this field was voted the best in the NFL by the NFL Players Association here's Jay Eglaw Eglaw who's come in at fullback for LSU that carry for the Tigers who have a first down Hudson, pass, quick pass, complete. Ronnie Halliburton, the tight end to the 20 of Syracuse. Orangeman leading 7-0. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Pitch it back to Wyndham. Wyndham with blockers in front, cuts up, and gets it inside the 15-yard line. They're slim after the starters. Second and six for the Tigers. At the Syracuse 16. Hudson hands it back to Wyndham. Not much there for Wyndham that time. A lot of blue jerseys. Marvels at Archer. Such a young man with major responsibility and does such a great job. Hand off straight ahead to Egloff. Egloff will be close to the first down. And uh, before he can get the kick off, the first quarter. Run at the 11-yard line of Syracuse. Fuller and Jones, the running backs here. Straight ahead to Jones, and Victor Jones is thrown back for the Syracuse defense. It'll depend on the spot of the ball. You want to give them the opportunity to take advantage of this field position. They held. They did not make it, and Syracuse takes over on downs. First down, Syracuse, after holding LSU on fourth and one. They start from their own 11. Johnston powers ahead for a couple. All the way to the orange 11-yard line, but Syracuse held on fourth and one. And they lead 7-0. Drummond. Good running by Drummond across the 20 to the 21-yard line. 
Here's Phil Cox on the option, tackled from behind as Sancho. That one was for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 for Syracuse. Phil Cox under pressure, dumps it complete to Johnston. Johnston gets to the outside and bangs ahead to the 30. Phil Cox audibles about 70% of the time. He has a choice of plays as he comes to the line, and he'll choose one about 70, 75% of the time. This one is the option. Phil Cox still has it. Cuts up short of the 35. He got about three under the Super Bowl, which will also be seen here on NBC. Phil Cox completes the pass to Davis, the tight end. Davis, second down, three. On the option, pitch it to Drummond. Drummond has the Syracuse first down. Twists forward, suspended for this game for disciplinary reasons. Bill Cox now will throw. Man wide open, and the pass is complete again. This one to Glover. They lead 7-0. 10 minutes, 57 seconds left in the first half. Tom Hammond, Joe Namath, Armand Katayan at the Hall of Fame Bowl in Tampa. Flag down as Drummond has enough for a Syracuse first down. If the Syracuse is whipping them. First down at the 23. On the option, Phil Cox tackled for a loss. He lost two back to the 25-yard line. Dunbar out of Opelousas, Louisiana. Interesting to watch him at the beach in a team outing the other day as he took a look at the ocean and the sand for the first time in his life. Fascinating. Pass is complete to Moore. Moore, fighting for yardage, will be thrown back to about the 20-yard line. He's an all-conference lacrosse player in high school. Third down play, Phil Cox in trouble and swamped on by white jerseys. Kevin J. Green is on to attempt a field goal. It'll be 38 yards. Phil Cox will hold. Green has hit 15 of the stadium. And you know, Tom, there was no luck about this 10-point Syracuse score. They drove right down the field with efficient offensive football, and they rose up on a fourth and one to stop LSU, so Syracuse is playing an excellent game. Here's Green's kick. Taken by Fuller. Fuller with a good return is out to the 25-yard line. LSU, this is a normal thing for the Tigers. Usually in the second quarter, they get Gidry on for at least a series to replace Hudson. Gidry with a handoff on their first play, and not much there for Eddie Fuller. In fact, he's thrown back. And by Mazda Cars and Trucks, including the all-new Mazda MPV. Tom Hammond and Joe Namath are... There's Gidry, the fifth-year senior. They say he has a stronger arm than Hudson. Pitches this one back to Fuller. Tough yardage again as Fuller cuts forward for a couple. Uh, Tommy Hudson on the sideline. The coaches say it helps him to come over and sort of see how the game is going from that perspective while Gidry is on the field. Gidry with a complete pass to Victor Jones. Gidry has the Tigers on the move, but facing a third and four here. They trail 10-0 with just over six minutes left in the first half. Gidry, under pressure, he's going to run with it, and he's got a first down to the 35-yard line of Syracuse. And Gidry out of the game. Here's Hodson now to see if he can keep it going. Pitch it back to Hodson. The flea flicker pay. It's well covered, and a pass is intercepted. Intercepted by David Holmes, who wasn't fooled by the flea flicker at all. Now Syracuse takes over at its own nine-yard line. Straight ahead is Daryl Johnston, the tough running fullback. Todd Philcox, meanwhile, is 7 of 9 for 64 yards. Robert Drummond on the own 14. Philcox on the draw. It's Drummond, or no, it's Johnston carrying the ball, and Young and Jackson are deep for LSU. Jackson takes it at the 45, tries to get to the outside behind the wall. Shakes a tackler and then is tripped up at midfield. It sparked the Tiger drive, but then was injured. Now on the sideline is Hudson back at the controls. Play action pass. Hudson has his man and it's dropped. Windham out of the backfield. Syracuse leads LSU 10-0 with 3.21 left in the opening half. Hudson chased out of the pocket and it's complete to Windham this time. He makes it for about a nine-yard gain, broken by a man whose knees still creak when he walks. 
First down play for LSU. It's a draw play to Egloff. Egloff didn't get much. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Taking the Tigers this year to their 28th bowl appearance, which ties Georgia for sixth best in football history. Hudson, man across the middle is open. It's Moss. Moss with that patented spin move. Can't get away, though, from the films that I've looked at. Inside the two-minute mark on a third down play. Wyndham cuts up. Good run. He's at the five. Touchdown. Calvin Wyndham, the sophomore out of Orlando, Florida. Brown Dyke. Interest still in the first half because that drive engineered with two fresh running backs in the game for LSU. That's right. This heat can wear you out, and I think Syracuse, without that backup strength, could be in trouble the second half. Kevin D. Green returns the kick. And there's uh, an offside call. Bill Cox. One-handed catch by Drummond. Takes one tackler and gets it back to the line of scrimmage. With a second and six here from their own 35-yard line, leading 10-7. Minute 35 remaining first half. Counterplay, Drummond picks his way forward for five. He'll be close to the first down. Just short of the first down, it's third and inches. Phil Cox with the sneak, picks up the Syracuse first down. Syracuse with a first down at the 42. Cox straight back to pass. Being chased. And he'll be sacked. Eric Hill sacks Phil Cox. Second and 25 for the Orangemen. Phil Cox will pass. Plenty of time. But he misfires intended for Davis. Draw play, Drummond. They pounce on him at about the 31-yard line. Rudy Harmon, and there's Jackson Deep, standing at about his own 40. Good kick this time by Gardner. Jackson retreats and still can't get it. He lets it bounce, and it's gonna be a great punt. Down to the five-yard line. Almost six-yard line, 34 seconds left. Will they just run out the clock? I would think so, Tom. They should run it out anyway, not take any chances down here. And the ball to Victor Jones, and Jones runs it across the 10 before the first half will come to an end. Hall of Fame Bowl in Tampa, Florida, the first half in the books with Syracuse leading LSU 10-7. Wayne Williams and Vincent Fuller are deep for LSU as Kevin J. Green toes it up for Syracuse. And the kick taken by LSU. It's taken by Fuller, and Fuller, he needs to get on track. LSU with Fuller and Jones in the backfield. And the handoff to Fuller. And he's hit immediately. He slipped down. And... Play action pass. Hudson with plenty of time. And delivers it complete in a tough hit. And driven back. Talk about that offensive line of LSU. They went seven straight games not allowing a sack in one stretch of the season. Hudson again to Moss. Moss has got it. He's at the 35, and finally wrestled down at the 25-yard line. Down by the jersey, Moss described by his coaches as an artist after he catches the ball. That one, though, intended for Moss. Moss is gifted, naturally gifted. He's helped him with the game, but it's all just natural, good athletic ability. Victor Jones for LSU. Keeps the legs driving and pounds inside the 20. Mike Archer looks on third and two for his Tigers. Three wide receivers to the left. Hudson for the end zone. Incomplete, intended for Fuller. Again on third down. On the offense, still third down. Moss is in motion. Hudson, complete. Moss made the catch, but he'll be short of the first down. Right now it's the field goal game. David Browndike from 35 yards away. Chris Mook is the holder. 
Brown Dyke, the left foot at Soccer Stop Stadium. The Hall of Fame Bowl tied at 10, LSU and Syracuse. Brown Dyke kicks it off for LSU. Taken on the hop by Walker. And Walker finally tackled across the 30-yard line where LSU 10, Syracuse 10. First possession of the second half for the Orangemen. On the option play, the pitch is back to Drummond. And Drummond knocked out of bounds after picking up a Syracuse first down. And I think Coach McPherson, seeing Pat Dye of Auburn go for the tie instead of the win, still a little upset. On the option play, Phil Cox pitches back to Drummond, trying the other side. And again, some pretty good yardage. There's Davis, 6'3", 257 pounds. Second and five. Drummond has almost gained 100 yards now, 96 on the day. Play action pass. Phil Cox, great catch. First down, Syracuse at the 35-yard line. High school, all state in football, basketball, and track quite an athlete and the top receiver for the Orangemen. Option play again. First option, Johnston coached it to the 30. Johnston weighs 230. Option on the reverse. Moore trying to let his blockers form. Thought about cutting back and then dives forward. He does have enough for a first down. They've got a first down at the LSU 22. Option again. Pitch to Drummond. Drummond tries to get the corner. Blasted out of bounds. Come on, here we go, here we go, let's go. Bill Cox. Pass complete. Rob Moore again. And Moore is down to the five-yard line of LSU. The first down and goal, as you see, halftime at the Citrus Bowl. Pitch it back to Drummond. And Drummond is collared and driven back to the 10-yard line. Loss of four on the play. The 10-10 tie in the Hall of Fame Bowl. Bill Cox, quarterback draw. Hit hard and dropped at the five. Ron Sancho at the bottom of the stack. Cox lobs it up. And it'll be out of the reach of the intended receiver Moore, but the penalty flag is down. Good break for Syracuse. I don't think this ball is catchable either. Look, it. it's going to be way over his head out of the end zone. I don't believe Moore had a chance to catch it anyway. Full house backfield for the Orangemen. And touchdown. No, it's not. It's just short. Again, the full house backfield. Second and goal from the one foot line. And again, they didn't make it. Third and goal from the one foot line. And this time, Syracuse gets it across for the touchdown. Once again, they go over the right side, and it's Drummond that carries in for the score. This one is good. So after getting the benefit of a pass interference call in the end zone, Drummond pounds it across for the Syracuse touchdown, and the Orangemen go up. And Kevin Green ready to kick it off for Syracuse. And the kick taken by Wayne Williams in the end zone, and he'll down it there. First down, LSU, Hudson, a first down pass out of the hands. It's a pretty good early scouting. UCLA with the lead in the Cotton Bowl on Arkansas. Halftime score. Five-minute mark of the third quarter. Hudson with plenty of time, and again, complete to Moss. And Moss has an LSU first down. Hit 9 of 15 for 115 yards. Windham on the pitch. Hit behind the line and stumbles forward. Three wide receivers to the left side of the LSU formation. Hudson in trouble this time. Sacked at the 20. Good defensive play. Back on what the intensity of college football is all about. These two teams right here just bowing the head and toe. And it's going to be interesting to see what the outcome's going to be. All right, back to you, Tom. All right, Armin, Tommy Hodgson, Bourgeois. Fair catch called for by Ingram. Oaks. LSU with an edge in depth. Here's Phil Cox on the option. It's been very successful. That pitch to Drummond gains about five yards. 
Second and five for Syracuse. The ball now at the 49-yard line of the Orangemen. Bill Cox rolling out. Let's it go, complete. That'll be a Syracuse first down as the catch is made. First down, Syracuse, LSU 39. First man through is Johnston. Lowers his head and bangs across the 30. 29-yard line of LSU. Two minutes, 15 seconds left. Third quarter, 17-10, Syracuse. Play action pass. Bill Cox sets up a screen, completes it to Drummond. Drummond lets his blockers form and then takes it inside the 20 down to the 19-yard line. Todd Phil Cox under center again. He's only missed three passes all day. This is the option. Pitch it to Drummond. Good defensive play by LSU that time. Meanwhile, the Syracuse ground game has gained over 50 in this third period alone. Pitch it again to Drummond. Can't spin away from the tackler, Eric Hill. 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Third and five for the Orangemen. Bill Cox complete to the five-yard line. The catch made there. And Syracuse will have it first and goal. Syracuse trying to take control of the game. First and goal. I formation in the backfield. And the give to the fullback, Johnston, who gains a yard. And it's second and goal. The ball just inside the four. Full house backfield. Bill Cox rolling out, looking back the other way for the end zone. Incomplete. The third and goal. Bill Cox again rolls to his right. Throws that way for the touchdown. Glover makes the catch. And Syracuse has another score. Oh, and it's no good. That is a story. Now, we told you that Syracuse had hit 262 in a row. Green with the kick. Fuller settles under it at the 11th. The outside wrestled down at the 26 yard line. And uh, of course, there are 50,000 vocal people that are having a great time and a wonderful day. From LSU, how many decided to come to the game? I think we had about 3,100 as compared to about 9,000 from Syracuse. So we uh, we need to work on the Southeast Conference team. Alvin Lee made a diving attempt at that first down pass by Hodson, incomplete at second and 10. Hodson chased out of the pocket, does complete the pass to Jones. And Jones will get only a couple of yards. Hudson back to pass. Incomplete. Lost the intended receiver and good defense. Ingram lets it bounce and it'll go out of bounds at about the Syracuse 40 yard line. The Tigers backed up quarterback who was injured in the second quarter after sparking the Tigers. Here's Phil Cox keeping it on the option. Good running by Phil Cox. He's to the 45 yard line. LSU has turned it over twice. Syracuse has not turned it over. Johnston. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Bounces off a couple of tacklers and finally goes down. Play action pass. Phil Cox stands in the pocket and it's knocked down. Phil Cox has been superb though. He's hit on 14 of 19 for 125 yards and hasn't missed two in a row all day. Set up the screen. Johnston chased down and dropped from behind. High snap, but he pulls it down and gets it away. Fair catch called for, but they're going to let it bounce. Syracuse can't down it. It goes into the end zone for the touchback of Bavaro, whose older brother Mark is the New York Giants tight end, is the leading tackler on the year for Syracuse. Hudson, first down pass. Moss can't make a diving catch. Second and 10 for Hodson and company. Windham in motion. Pass is complete to Williams. Willie Williams, the tight end for about an eight yard gain. Third and one. Windham wrapped up and thrown back. He didn't make it. And less than a yard to go. And they 
got the first down. Egloff on the carry to 176 for Syracuse. Another running play. Egloff, not much. But it's been all Syracuse since then. Hudson, second receiver, is Fuller. He has it and has wrestled down short of the 40-yard line. See him go for it twice. They did it on fourth down on their own 30. Third and three here. You see the clock. Plenty of time for Hodson, and the pass is complete. A great catch by Fuller. He makes that reception in LSU in business just short of midfield. Hodson pumps once. Got a man, Moss, wide open. Can't get it to him. As a unit, have allowed only three touchdowns through the air this year. They don't give up the big play, but LSU needs one. Hodson throws short, and it's complete to Williams. Big third down play again for the Tigers with Gidry watching from the sideline, separated shoulder. Hodson chased from the pocket and sacked. Terry Wooden came from his outside linebacker spot. The Tigers with fourth down will go for it, fourth and 15. Hodson with plenty of time. Pass is deflected and it's incomplete. Dan Busey, the inside linebacker, back in coverage. Clock working against them and will expect Syracuse to keep it on the ground. Option play, Phil Cox pitches to Drummond. They string the play out and LSU makes the tackle after a gain of two or three on the play. Robert Drummond is carried for 114 yards today. Again the option, Phil Cox again pitches to Drummond and he's got a first down. Uh, you know, leaving it behind, it's, it's sad. There's no doubt about it, but the win would make you feel a lot better. Here's a surprise. Syracuse goes to the air, and the catch made by Moore. Second down for the Orangemen. Second and three from the LSU 25-yard line. Johnston. Good running by the fullback. Just tripped up at the 15-yard line. He'll nullify the play in the step-off. On the offense, still second down. Estebo coming up next, West Virginia, Notre Dame, at the conclusion of the Hall of Fame Bowl. Bill Cox to pass, and... Bill Cox will pass, and he'll pass deep. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Uh, sends his field goal unit out, and Green tries a 52-yarder. It's gonna be well short. He punted the ball. He punted the ball, and Syracuse downs it at the one. Well, they lined up in field goal formation. Tommy Hudson down the sideline and incomplete. Too long for the intended receiver, Alvin Lee. It's a second down play and a play action pass. Hudson across the middle, and that one's incomplete. Syracuse leading 23-10. his own end zone, Hodson throws that one way off the mark. And a bad punt. Bounces and is down at about the 32-yard line. LSU and Syracuse. Johnston, power straight ahead as Syracuse works on the clock. And has Robert Drummond. Johnston again gets the call, not much there. Bednars and Sims have just done a marvelous job. They have a lot to look forward to next season. There's a almost turnover, fumbled out of bounds by Drummond. Will this be a field goal? Let's see, they're lined up to try a field goal again. 45 yards, this one will go on its way by Green, and it will be short. LSU will get the ball at the 20-yard line with only a minute, 23 seconds left. First down play for LSU. Hodson rolls out. Completes it to Moss. Moss shakes one tackler with that spin move into Syracuse territory to the 48-yard line. 23-yard gain. First down, it's first down and 40. <laughs> I'm glad you figured that out, Tom. I was trying to count and couldn't get that high. 
Danny Green, our stats man, is responsible for that, Joe. I can't take credit. I can't see that far. Coach McPherson saying that these SEC teams don't expect them to be able to play hard-nosed football with them, and they proved it to Auburn last year. That this is a third and 21 play, and it's intercepted. Third interception of the day for Syracuse. David Holmes picks off a pass. It was intended for Tolbert, and with 50 seconds left, Syracuse will salt it away. Johnston carries the ball, where the Syracuse players celebrate their 10th victory of the season. Keep the clock running. Johnston again draws a crowd, but... The Syracuse Orangemen, with one second left, they stopped the clock because he picked up a first down, but they'll restart it, and the game will come to an end. And Syracuse, with a very impressive performance, saw LSU tie the score at 10 to open the second half, then got the offense cranked up, the defense held steady, and the Orangemen win it by a 23 to 10 count over LSU. Syracuse will go to 10 and 2 on the season. Over the last two years, they are 21 wins, two losses, and one tie, which is the third best in all of college football behind only Miami and Florida State. The LSU Tigers, co-champions of the Southeastern Conference, lose for the fourth time this season against eight wins. And there you see the LSU players and Coach McPherson exchanging handshakes at midfield.